Welcome back, Taufflater folks. We have a special guest for you out here today, Jeff OG. We uh, came out to meet uh, Brendan. Brendan comes to us from Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so he was just happened to be passing through our area, and uh, he contacted me and said, "Hey, uh, we'd like to come through and uh, do some shooting." So while his family's camped out nearby, we brought him out here to the Taufflater site. We're going to shoot some uh, pistols, rifles, and shotguns with Brendan. In Australia, you don't get a lot of opportunity to Not shoot. Yeah. So he has shot firearms before, so he's no uh, no newbie. We just gave him a magazine of 9 millimeter, and the guy shot better than most of the police officers <laughs> at my agency. So uh, we're going to put him on camera now that we know he won't embarrass himself. And some of the things he's going to be shooting today, we have uh, 9 millimeter pistols, Glock 19. Uh, he just finished shooting a Glock 34. We have a Glock 45, all of those in 9mm. We've also got the kel that you've seen here on the channel before in uh, 5.56. Five, uh, we've got Sergio's new AR-15 he just built, never been shot before. And we've got OG's <laughs> tangled up <laughs> AR-15. And of course you've all seen the Tau Flinter shotgun. So uh, Brennan's going to give those a try. we got some steel targets out here. And so uh, let's get to it and see how he does. Say hello to all your mates back home. Hey, everybody. How you doing? And uh, <laughs> we'll get to it. It's awfully cold. I do have here. a few Australian watch viewers, That's, you know. Yeah, you do. I'm oh, one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Denver. We know, we know, we know Denver there. Yep. Sends us slugs all the time. So we're going to give it a try before the sun goes down. And it's, it's rather cold out here. So after this, we're going to go get some Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> Target and very, very gently press back on the trigger. Right oh. in the center, first round. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got 17 of them in there. Look at that. He's lying to us. He's part of the SAS. <laughs> I, that's phenomenal. Well. That's pretty good. Didn't get shooting. I know. Yeah, very good shoot. Yeah, police officers who couldn't even hit that metal. <laughs> that one went to the casino. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. And the lock's open, ready to go. So normally what you would do if you had another magazine on you, you would punch this out and yeah. it falls in on the ground. And you'd reach back for a spare. Slam it in and yeah. go. I'm, I'm going to swap these out because yeah. these are expensive rounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put you any good stuff. <laughs> so, but, really, was that all right? Was it? Not bad, yeah. That's pretty good. good. Brendan's going to be shooting the Glock 19. Got a steel target. How far away is he? Uh, what are we, about uh, 15 yards? What's that in meters? <laughs> it's seven cabbages. <laughs> there we go. Right in the head. First time ever on this pistol. Not He's bad. doing fantastic. Yeah. Missed that one. That one's at the casino. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Not bad. I think there was only. Man, he's natural. Yeah, we, we, we could have moved him back to like 50 meters I know. or so. We put it, make a challenge out of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's going to be shooting uh, double lot buckshot. This is a lower recoil police uh, double lot buckshot out of the Talflater shotgun. I, I replaced the battery on my red dot, <laughs> make it a little easier. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We're a little further back. Yeah, a little bit further back. You want me back. to stand further back? No, you're good. And on this, you want to, just like if you were swinging a baseball bat, you want to get a nice wide stance with oh, your feet yeah. and lean forward into it just a little bit because it's going to push you back. Yeah. All right, ready? A little bit more recoil than a 9 millimeter. Okay. Go ahead. There you go. It's not bad, was back it? Slide. And you should have another one ready to go. There you go. A little more, little more kick, doesn't it? Yeah, nice and firm all the way back. Yeah. All the way forward. Yeah. There you go. Should have one. Did you see one in there? Okay. I think I heard some. There 
There you go. There's a ricochet then. Yeah. yeah. Is, there, is that one more in there? Or? Oh, you've got oh. Uh, four, four more, I think. Five more. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Man, you ever oh, clean you that go. thing? <laughs> Really, what you're doing is you're firing nine nine millimeter bullets all at the same time. Well, that's why it feels heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy. <laughs> Isn't it like 32s? <laughs> there you go. Get them every time. Yeah. There you go. That was a different one. Yeah, yeah. it seemed like the sound was a little different on this one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That was it, yeah. that was it for that one. Thank you. All right. That was a little more kick. Of <laughs> yeah, a little more than that. Yeah, yeah, this one, huh? Insert it yeah. with your fingertip in there yeah. with that hand. And you're going to insert it until you hear the click. And then you're going to give it a good whap on the bottom. Boom. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now, over here, we have a bolt closed. So you're going to have to use this charging handle. Yep. Pull that back and then just let it go nice like a slingshot. Yep. What do you think about the... the the charging handle on on the back like that instead of like a bolt charging. Why why didn't they do that? What's wrong with the? This is Eugene Stoner. <laughs> I know. Design. They didn't want a bolt on this bolt because it's reciprocating, so it flies back every single time, and they don't want that coming back at your face. And then they'd have to have a, a little slot in there, which allowed dirt to get into it. So yeah. it's a. And there's a lot of rifles that have that that yeah. have that reciprocating bolt that yeah. flies back. It works just fine, but. Yeah. An SKS, an AK-47, but uh, yeah. this AR-15, you charge it one time like that, and after it goes empty, the bolt will lock open, yep. and it's ready for a new magazine, and then all you have to do is push this little paddle yep. right here, Drops and it'll go close. You this only need to do this one time. Yeah. So, now what you're going to do, go ahead and shoulder that, and when you're ready, when your dot is on the target, your thumb is going to come here, click that, click that one yep. time down, yep. there you go. Excellent hit. See how the very little recoil? Yeah. Flash up there in the in the muzzle brake. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, you'll yeah. feel the difference. Yeah, you feel it, it lock yeah, open. It. Yeah. So if you needed to now, if you had another magazine, you would reach up with your pointer finger and you would eject the magazine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would come out. Yeah. Your other hand would put a new, new one, one in there, yeah. and you would just slam that little paddle right there. No. And that would drop the. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's you'd be ready to fire again that fast. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So very easy rifle for people to learn and use. Yeah. And as you saw with the impact downrange, it's got a lot of, a lot of power. Yeah. Power, yeah. but very little recoil. Yeah. This yeah. is a big spring back yeah, here. Yeah. You can hear it going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ring. Yeah. That's uh, some people don't like it. There's things you can do to make that quieter. But yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. that's why it's such a popular rifle. Yeah. This is. Uh, this is kind of my home rifle, so it's set up with a light on the front. Yeah. It's set up with backup sights here in case uh, this ever came off, the yeah. uh, battery went dead. Yeah. You just pop it off real no, quickly with a quick release. Yeah. And then by putting this down, you've got uh, yeah. sights to use. Yeah, yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. So so Brandon's going to be shooting uh, Sergio's 20 inch AR 15. Sergio just built this by hand. He just function tested it, so we made sure we didn't blow anybody up. Uh, what makes this California legal on this one? Underneath Brendan's hand here, you can see this it's plastic a little fin. Dark. Okay, there, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, fin right there, that keeps your thumb from going around it. That, and yes, we know <laughs> everyone, we know everyone, it sucks to live in California, got it. However, we do want to show, as we do often, that you can own some pretty cool stuff. You can still defend yourself with a rifle in California. We just have to get around some of these silly things. So um, it's still got a, uh, it's got a California legal uh, a brake on the front that looks like a flash hider. And of course, it's got a non-collapsible stock so these three features make it perfectly legal in california so britain's going to give it a try so as, as much as california sucks it's still it's possible. far less restricted than australia where you were saying earlier that airsoft guns you can't 
No, there's no you, a paintball guns. You have to have a license, yeah. right? Yeah. That's crazy. You have yeah. to go to a special place just to shoot a rifle and at a special event. And mm. So, and there's there's actually places in the United States that are more restrictive than California. So, people do not want to say that, but it, it is true. Yeah. California is just a big state. Very difficult a country to of its own. own. Yeah, very difficult to own this rifle or the pistols we just shot in Massachusetts, let's say, or uh, Delaware, some of those places like that. So. We're not quite as bad, but uh, you know we can get around it. Let's uh, let's have Brendan shoot some AR-15 rounds downrange. So your magazine's in. Yep. Safety's on. Yep. Safety's on. You're gonna charge it again. Let it go. There he goes. And then once it's up to your it's shoulder. It's hard to undo your safety. Oh, it's one on this side as well. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> put a he put an ambidextrous yeah, safety yeah. on there because yeah. you can only use yeah, that yeah. hand. So you'll click it down, and you are good to go. There you go. Notice the difference in the recoil? Yeah. Cool. Pushing that bullet out of there a lot faster than you 16 inch. Yeah. That sounds like 10 rounds. Yeah, I was counting too. All right, so then you'll use your, your uh, pointer finger, index finger to drop that out. And this is where you would grab another magazine, slam it in, and then your hand, yeah, they're kind of designed where you slam it in and your hand automatically goes to that, goes to that position. Yeah, yeah. So it's really fast. Slam, click, and you're Smoking. back up in the fight. Yeah. So look at this. Yeah. The oil, because this barrel came straight from the factory, cooking. the oil's cooking off of that <laughs> barrel and steaming out the top there. Can you see that? Put something dark up against it. Yep. <laughs> Brendan, Brendan's cooking with gas over here. <laughs> so how is it? You want to yeah. take it back with you? Oh, oh yeah. I think no, I wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> think they'll catch you at customs? Yeah. It's just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them it's a replica. Yeah, yeah. You can't even say it's an airsoft gun. Yeah. You know? Oh, uh, no, not an airsoft yeah. gun. Tell them it's a cigarette lighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Brendan's going to be shooting the Caltech RBD, RBC, RBDC. Good Lord. Too many uh, alphabet letters for Yeah, it's hard. How do you remember that? I don't know. I got to spell things. Uh, this is the California Legal, of course, 20 inch barrel Kel Tech. We had it on a previous video. It's got a muzzle brake on it. Um, there is 20 inches of barrel here that are tucked back under his shoulder. The rounds eject here behind his wrist. You'll see him falling down next to his sweatshirt. Um, he's got an illuminated primary arms ACSS reticle on there. Um, so he'll be able to hit this target here at. 25 yards, but he could just as easily reach out 300, 400, 500 yards with this rifle. So you're now going to reach up to the lever, pull it back, let it go, yep. and you are ready to go, sir. On this target, at the very top, you're going to see a little chevron in there, yep. and you're going to put the tip of that chevron, or that circle, around your bad guy. There you go! He's a natural, kids. Feel the difference in where that 20 inch barrel is located on your shoulder. That's it. Yep. And so all uh, all 10 rounds from that California Legal Magazine yeah. have landed right here at your feet. Yep. So it makes cleanup very easy. <laughs> so you're good to go. And then we're just going to reach over here, click it on the safe. Yep. There you go. Yeah. And you are okay, good. finally, what do we have? Denver in South Brisbane, Australia, has sent over a slug. Do you know what kind of slug this is? It's that green one. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was. We were supposed to shoot him through a rifled barrel, and we. I forgot about him. 
And I just okay. remembered, so don't worry, Denver, we're going to still get to these things. Well, I just we thought, what better than to have someone from what part? North Brisbane? Brisbane? I'm from Brisbane. Oh, Central. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's from the same neighborhood. Yeah. He's going to drop this in the Tau Flader shotgun and shoot it out there like an Aussie. So yeah. give it a go. Let's give it, it a go while we shoot it. All, it's the most fitting round for him. Absolutely. Yeah. It came all the way from Australia, Brisbane, Australia, and the slug also somehow came to the same yeah. point in, ended the, up at the, in the universe. Spot. He could have brought it in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> so we also saved it for last because this has probably got more recoil than anything he shot out here today. So we're going to set him up right in the right shooting stance and uh, you'll be just fine. But uh, you'll notice that this one will make you want to go back to 9mm. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting very dark here, but it, it's not too bad on camera. Yeah. So go ahead and just Drop it hand chamber that in there. Yep. You've still got the red dot on. There you go. And you're just going to line up that red dot. Keep that thing tucked into your shoulder nicely. On this one, you're going to on this one, you're going to get a really aggressive stance, yep. leaning forward into it, like you're like you're fighting someone yep. boxing. It'll be just a little more recoil than the buckshot. Yeah, it's actually not crazy. All right, tell me when. When you are ready. Oh, Ooh. it's a oh, he broke the plate with it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> But like uh, thunder from down under, huh? Yeah. Isn't that an all I male? Just, only just hit it. An all male dance review, man. In uh, in. Uh... All right, so Brendan, what did you think? Had a great time. Yeah, yeah. pistol, yeah. rifles, yep. several rifles, several pistols, and shotgun. Yep. Even shot a massive slug. Yeah, it's still awesome it. with it. <laughs> so uh, I think we we mentioned at the beginning of this video back when we had some light, he picked up the very first Glock he'd ever shot, nine millimeter Glock 34. And all rounds, ping, 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 right in the center of the target. So it did exceptionally well. I yeah, think, I think this theory or this uh, myth that the Australians don't have guns is just a myth. <laughs> they shoot all the time and just come over here and try and show us up. <laughs> so he did yeah. very well. We've lost all of our light out here now, so we're we've got Sergio standing over here with with <laughs> two flashlights. In I gotta show that. We're gonna play a very short football game here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was good to, good to have you yeah, out. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming yeah. all the way from Australia yeah. just for this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, got to shoot a lot of stuff, and you'll be on uh, you'll be on the YouTube now. <laughs> hey, folks, it's getting awfully cold out here. It's super cold. dark. So we're gonna wrap up and put all of our stuff in the uh, vehicles, and we're gonna go get some Mexican food in town. So uh, we'll see you on the next video. You guys, be safe out there. He's supposed to say good day. Good day. <laughs> oh, actually, I said that to a, a lady at uh, one of the RV parks, and she she just backed in her her trailer, and she's like, "How you doing?" And I said, "Good day." And then she's like, oh, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm from Australia. I just say it naturally sometimes." She said, "Are you your Ed Sheeran?" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll yeah. see you guys on the next one.